That's strange. I didn't hear a knock. I just wanted to say, wow, you were awe-inspiring. Well, thank you very much, Mr... McCoy. Uh, Ray McCoy. Is there something I can do for you, Mr. McCoy? They had such an unusual belt. Is it antique? They say it's from the last century. Those little creatures have always been my favorites. Dragonflies? Yes. And the whole class that contains them. Tell you the truth, I'm from the LPD. I'd like to ask you a few questions if I could. Is this about early Q? Because I could tell you. Did any other pieces come with the belt? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. You buy a vehicle lately? A black sedan? I wasn't aware that was a crime. Buying the car isn't. Using the car in an animal murder, well... Animal murder? That's horrible. I haven't seen the car for two days. It was stolen the day after I bought it. Is that right? Any reason you didn't tell me that right off? You didn't ask. Animal murder's pretty horrible. Yes. Any murder is horrible. And unfortunate. Some are worse than others. But death's the same for all. No argument there. Look, I want to warn you. There's a woman looking for you and your friends. Why would anyone be looking for me? You know what I'm talking about. It's real important that you get out of here. I get it. You're some kind of sexual deviant. I'm finished with you. Get me the police. You're doing the right thing. Yes, this is an emergency. Early cues backstage. A customer is harassing me. Thank you. Put that away. I'm a cop. Now we wait. If your hand moves, I'll shoot. Okay. Please don't talk. The sound of your voice grates on my nerves. We waited there for a few minutes. Her gun in her eyes never wavered. Any other mark, I'd have been a dead man. But if she was a replicant, she must not have known it if she was willing to call the police. This a troublemaker? Put your hands on top of your head. That's right. Ray McCoy, Rep Detect, BR-61661. Never heard of you. I report to Lieutenant Guza. Call him. I work for you? Let's go. Where's your squad car? Shut your mouth. Which precinct are we going to? I'll tell you which one. This was no precinct house I'd ever been in, and I thought I'd been in them all. The grunt to my right had the beefy, harness bull look down pat, and his twitchy partner in the suit looked like he was just itching to chainsaw a couple of kneecaps. Other than that, everything was hunky-dory. Impersonating a police officer, huh? I guess the new Nexus models are a little more creative than the old ones. I'm a Blade Runner. You don't believe me? Call Lieutenant Guza. There ain't no Guza in the LPD. Unless I've been walking around in a dream, there is. That's what always bugs me. Yeah, the fact that these skin jobs always gotta live someone else's life. No shit. Just make the call, damn it. <gasps> You're just a piece of shit rep with memory implants of this Guza guy, you understand? <laughs> That's impossible. Rep ain't sounding so creative now. You wanna avoid comp me? Be my guest. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Very convincing. Where have you been hiding? The Kipple? Gregorian bring you in? Who else is working that side of the pool these days? I don't know what you're talking about. Ah! What about that bastard selling all that stuff downtown? Hey, shut your trap. I'll tell you something, McCoy. I don't even care how you go out. But I know you can feel pain. And on that account, I'm your man, sir. You tell me about everyone you met through cars, and I'll guarantee you will go real easy. Your breath smells like you wiped your ass with your teeth. <laughs> You're gonna wish you was neck deep in an off-world reactor vessel by the time I get through with you. Fire up the chair, Holly. You know what I'm gonna come back as in my next life? A priest. Uh, there's something holy about it. 
How good I am at this. Freeze! Don't even go for it! You got any idea how glad I am to see you? No time for chit-chat, Slim. You want to save your ass? We gotta blow this joint right now. What the hell took you so long? Good thing you made your entrance when you did. Good thing one of my snitches saw them escort you out of the club. Otherwise, you'd be three quarters in a bag right now. They must have been phony cops hired by the reps for protection. Cops, yes. Phony, no. I remembered Baker. He used to be an SID expert on coercive technique until he was fired from the force a couple years ago. A mercenary? Bingo. He won't have to worry about getting paid no more. That stripper you interviewed? She's one of them. Figure it out. She must have made the call to Baker and that other bozo. Let's attend to some business. I'm there. Nice crowd. Regular folk steal, just like you and me. Speak for yourself. You see it anywhere? Not yet. You sure she's in here? Better look backstage. Check the balcony and cover the exit. I want this one giving us the blow off. Listen, Dectora, I want to help. You say a lot of things, Mr. McCoy. But you're a Blade Runner. It's hard to know what's real. One of my associates is after you and your friends. I'm not sure I can hold her off much longer. I'm not worried. She may kill some of us, but not all of us. Clovis will see to that. Is he the one that sent you the flowers? Yes. And your lovers? We were once. But now we've evolved beyond that. They're still my family, Clovis and Lucy. What's Clovis looking for? Information. Data. Four years isn't enough time, Mr. McCoy. If anyone deserves more than four years, it's Clovis. If you could only meet him... Can you take me to him? I'm afraid that's impossible right now. He's very jealous. You don't understand. Jealous, huh? On top of everything else? He's a very complicated man. He wants so much. Things he just can't have. Then he's no different from anybody else. God forbid you ever have to find out how different he is. How dangerous he can be. And if he thinks that you and I... It can only bring trouble. Clovis will find you when he's ready. You better go now. Take the fire escape. I... appreciate it. Mr. McCoy. What happened? Where is it? She got away. How the hell did it get away? We had it cornered. This one must be pretty damn clever. Duh! What the hell? Now I'll never catch it! We better call this in. Your vehicle close by? It's around here somewhere. Where'd you park it? I'm telling you, it was right here. Damn thing must have been stolen. Maybe you're living in an alternate reality, Slim. Attention all units. All points bulletin has been issued for Ray McCoy, formerly BR-61661. Confirm one civilian kill, Ezo, considered armed and dangerous. What the hell is that? Maybe they just want to bring you in for questioning. I didn't kill Ezo. Maybe they think you're not what you think you are. Are you saying I'm a rep? Come off it! The look on your face after that last one? The minute you start to feel something for skin jobs, you're in big trouble. 
Maybe I just got too much empathy. In all the wrong places. You want to put me on the machine? Hey, I don't want anything, Slim. You're the one they want. Detective Steele, BR-61354, report to headquarters immediately. Code blue. What are you going to do? Take me in? No matter what they say, you're not on my list yet, Slim. You know what that means. And there's no use juicing you if I can't make some honest chinion off it, you know? I never appreciated your baser instincts so much. Guza must have messed up somehow. I'll check it out, see what's going on, and then... We'll be meeting again, Slim. You can bank on it. You got a deal. I get cracking before I change my mind. It wasn't any mystery, and if I'd gotten home a few minutes earlier, it would have been me down there on the killing floor. No, it was a message, plain and simple. Crystal was giving me one last chance to disappear, but now I had a little message of my own to deliver. She'd been shot once in the head. At least she died fast. Pick up. I've been trying to reach you for an hour. Are you all right? Yeah. Look, I think I got Clovis and Sadiq to let you alone. I told them you weren't hunting them anymore. Bravo. What's the matter? My dog's dead. Shot. I'm so sorry. You were close to it, weren't you? Not it. Her. Maggie. Clovis didn't do it, I'm sure of that. No kidding. I also told him about us, Ray. He took it very well. He and I are finished for good this time. I have a hard time believing that. He's been very philosophical. He's aware that his time is running out. That's why he wants to help us. No hard feelings, huh? None at all. Okay. But there's another way. Why don't you and I just go away from here? Leave this place and everybody else behind. Maybe I can help Clovis find some peace before he dies, then we'll see. Where is he? He's... been struggling out in the Kipple, trying to get the moon bus fixed. If you could help repair it, maybe we could all leave together. How far out are they? A few miles north of the city. There's bound to be tons of radioactive waste between here and there. There's a tunnel in the sewers. That's how Clovis and Sadiq go back and forth. It comes out right near the moon bus. I need you, Ray. I can't watch my friends die, not alone. And if you can't come, I do, my love. Dictora, wait! Damn it. Your floor number, please. Ground floor. I knew a trap when I saw one. This was Sadiq's work for sure. Nothing else there. You almost got away with it, Slim. And I expected so much more from you. Why'd you have to kill her? Who? The mutt? The artificial pet of a replicant? What'd you think I'd do? Show some mercy? Well, I guess that's why you're there, and I'm here. Now, why don't you explain to me what you're doing out here, Slim? Maybe you can ease my suspicious mind. I'm just checking it out. Just doing a little sightseeing? That's right. Right. And not 50 yards from your pal Clovis and the moon bus you hijacked. You're not convincing me too good, Slim. You're gonna shoot me down right here? It's as good a place as any. Maybe you want to go in the machine now? See if you can answer this question. Oh. 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 
What a waste. Brother Man, wondering when you make it out here. Took a little while to realize where I belonged. The maker built you right. What about you, Sadiq? Aren't you a killer? You bet, ma. Human, too. My woman, she be replicant. Tried to get away from a master. A blade runner shot her. I'm sorry. Uh, happened a long time ago. I take my revenge where I can. Help the reps, much as possible. The moon bus up and running yet? All it needs is fuel. Clovis wants to see you. Bring you back into family. I say, he prove himself, welcome back. One happy family. There got to be something around here, man. Old reactor cores. Anything still got to glow. The generator, it take almost anything. For real, I'm thinking. Going. You see Clovis. He not got too much time left. Welcome, brother. We have very little time. I spoke to Sadiq. He's installing the power source right now. Excellent. And do you have something for me? Not the talkative type. Not the talkative type. Not the talkative type. DNA information? We have some of it. I hope it's enough. It will have to be. I've got questions of my own. No doubt, but answers will take time, and time is precious to all of us. It's true, then. You... we... we've only got four years. Yes. Of course, I could be hit by lightning tomorrow, but with the information Terrell gave you... Who knows, brother? It may just be enough to make a difference. He's a hunter no more. He has come home. It's time to go, my friend. Where are we going? To the heavens, brother. To fulfill our destinies off-world. And this time, the memories we create will be our own.